Hello and welcome back to Britain's Worst Run Football Club. We have a very tough run of games coming in. No money. And the future's looking. However, we are still in the playoffs. We're in fourth currently. The bleakness comes from being uh, eight points behind Crystal Palace. Twelve points behind Top and Ipswich. We're also six points behind Southampton in third. Next four games we have Southampton, Crystal Palace and Sunderland, three of the top six, uh, followed by a game against Preston, who are down in 20. Hopefully we can pick some up. Uh, out of these games, I think I'm quite resigned to being playoffs only. So, uh, yeah, coming after a, I have a 1-0 win against Ipswich, which if we have lost that would have been way out of uh, trying to catch them up. Big game coming up. So Ipswich got Swan thing, so it should be another Ipswich win there. Um Palace again aren't playing. Very peculiar. So we have been toying around with this formation going forward. We have to drop back in to our um, existing I think we will for this. We've got too many lone players on the bench. Uh, George Hall. We're going to put Perone in. Hall can go off. We'll bring Bellingham in. Although we haven't really got a striker on the bench, which doesn't fill me with confidence. What do we do? Sorry, we've got Davies on the Bit difficult with Andrade. Like he plays fine, but he's a little bit, a little bit weak. You know what? We're going to put Ibrahimovic. <clears throat> We're going to start with him. This is what we'll go with. We'll go with this. See how we get on. Not sure if I'm very confident about this or all. Um, with the underdogs, does that even work? Think of what the uh, the assistant recommends. But their team, it, yeah, I suppose it, it's it's a Premier League team that's just got relegated. So uh, we did beat them on the first game of the season, however. And that was one nil with a, a Bellingham kind of a strike. So, Bellingham again, hopefully, uh, can come on and do some magic if required. We are attacking away from home, I'm not sure if I like that. Rekic to Ibrahimovic. All to no one. Cooper clears it. Brony has it outside of the box. He's going to do nothing. Cooper to holding. He hits it clear. Maldo has it at the back. Into Longello. Into James. Early bookings looking at that for Ibrahimovic and for James. Uh, Mara, put out by Longello into Maldo. I'm going to drop it into positive. Brone to Warrell to Rekic. Out to Chong. Azme has made a nice run through the middle there. He's one of them with the keeper. What can he do? Hasn't really done what we wanted there. But nice play. First highlight is for us. We've got more possession. Uh, kind of. In control with the shots also. So play it back from the air. Uh, play it out from the back. Maldo gets it. Perone. Strong on the right. Going inside. Into Perone. 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 I'm still not sure how to pronounce it. Into Warrell. Into Perone. Into Chong. Strong wide out to Salcedo. Inside to James. That's very nice. Allowed to run free James. What can he do? He's gone for the shot. I'm a little bit disappointed there. I would have expected laying it off into a, a better position player, but Ibrahimovic with the corner now. It is positive for us. Quarrel's there. Doesn't win the header though. James heads it. No one. Bruno Costa. Is this going to be the end of the highlight or are they going to attack us now? Salcedo gets the ball. Quarrel wins it though at the end. 
Into Longello, East to the Highlight going, Salcedo. Into Ibrahimovic. Salcedo on the overlap there, or the underlap. Maldo to James, back to Maldo. Don't lose it here, the quarrel. But they've got a uh, 4 2 3 1, same as ourselves. Corone, James. Salcedo into Ibrahimovic. That's maze ahead of him. He's going to go on his own, Ibrahimovic. He's going to go for the shot. I mean, it looked closer than it probably was, but again, we are seeming to be playing well. We've had the more shots, more possession as well. Yeah, the 4 2 3 1, they are playing the same as ourselves, pretty much. I mean, I'm not sure what to do here. Do we stick? Do we twist? We gear him up. Gear him up. We'll give it 10 minutes, but Longello, James, and Ibrahim all on the booking. Uh, doesn't, doesn't fill me with the most confident. So Warrell at the back, into Perone. Perone to Chong. He's been quiet in this game. There's Wreckage. Nice little intricate pass in here. There's John. Said he's been quiet. Over the top. Ibrahimovic. Can he lay it off? Is he going to shoot it? He's going to go on his own. And he has scored it. That's a fantastic goal. Clearly the half time. Team talk worked. 30 seconds in the second half. And we do go 1 0 up again. Nice little pass in here. Barone to Chong. Over the top ball. Lovely to Ibrahimovic. Would have liked to pass there to Lazme. But he's gone on his own. And in all fairness, he has put it in the back of the net. So, let's put it in. Let's put it in. Surprisingly ahead, giving him a struggle. <clears throat> I don't know who our assistant's looking at here. We have got more shots over Southampton and more possession, although that is slightly dwindling. Ibrahimovic with the highlight here. Cooper heads it away into Perone. We are waiting to make a change now. We'll wait for this highlight to win. Ibrahimovic into the box. Burst into the box. Should have more there. Zunu does hold on to it quite well. Is that the end of the highlight? We are just going to pause the game. As Angelo offered to bid today. Games to come off. We're going to bring on Bellingham. Then Ibrahimovic to come off. We're going to put Andrade in as the cam. And those lads may doing fine, but we're going to bring on Davies. It's not ideal to make that many changes and the highlight straight away for Southampton might penalise us here. Orsic on the left. Crosses it in. Not sure what happened there. Mealy fumbled the uh, the attack. But he's got there for the um the rebounded effort at least. We're gonna get a uh, we're gonna shout more here, we're gonna demand more. Strong's slowly getting Unfit, so uh, we'll bring him off. Bring on Hannibal. Although we're into extra time here. 1 0 win. We've done the double over Southampton this season. That's very interesting for how the league table is going to be as well. Well, uh, give them a lot of praise for that. They're defensively solid. Controlled the game. 10 points behind. Dip switch now. How did it switch get on? Did they play? They drew to Swansea. Okay. Maybe a speed in Ipswich is going to be the downfall that they required. But uh, Ipswich and Palace have both guaranteed uh, the playoff games. At the very, the very least. Big, big game. I suppose if we win this at least, then we're uh, just behind Palace. It says on international duty. Backman. There. Aldo's playing well. Wreckage. We'll bring in Niambe. Longello's could do better, but it is what it is. Rafa Luis wanted more game time. Do we put him in? We'll try it. Is he a ball winning midfielder? Uh, Marking. Athens Ball. He should be fine in that position. Uh, the bid say we will drop you out. We've only got five loans on the bench. Good. Well, uh, in the squad in general. 
Now, Lasme, he was doing very well at target ball. I'm just going to keep that going. Bring Pepe in onto the bench as well for Hannibal. Maybe another striker, maybe. And we'll take Rekic off. We'll put Figure on as well. well. We'll give him another chance. Big, big game. We'll, we'll stick with what the, uh, the assistant's saying. Oh, obviously, a, a win is the best case scenario. Very, very much accept the draw, though. We're going to stick with positive. I don't quite like the attacking and playing. Especially not against the quality of Crystal Palace either. Yeah, win would put us on 80 points, 5 points behind Palace, and 7 behind Ipswich. Hope we get a, a demand more shout in Ernie. I mean, Palace have had the uh, the majority of the shots, but we've had the majority of the possession. Right, Eze. We're going to float a free kick into the box. Warrell heads it clear. No urgency from our defence to kind of push back at him. Eze runs in. Good tackle by Mele. Slide in there from Salcedo as well to potentially put off Eze. Resulting corner. Palace. Eze is going to whip it in. Ali at the back post. Melee, safe hands. He keeps a hold of it. Very looking forward to having him for the, for the majority of next season. Well, all of next season. No, no plans to get rid. Ibrahimovic floats it in. Warrell at the back post. He heads it just onto the crossbar. I mean, it's not really troubling the goalie. Can we get another demand more in? We can, but should have done it. Eze whips it in. The highlight. LA does pick it up though. We will demand more. See if anything can happen. And Lasme is up there on his own. And then we've got Chong out on the right. LA gives it to Maldo. Maldo to Jay. James. Marquinhos wins it. Araujo. Oh, that's it. Season over. But we're going to be in playoffs only. That's a poor ball by James. We don't want to see that again. I mean, we haven't done anything really. Look at our shots. That's uh, incredible. They've been, don't look stressed. You have been absolutely terrible so far. Pop our tactics over. Games can come off. Alcido is having a poor game. So we're going to bring on. Uh, Figuier and Ibrahimovic will bring Pepe on. Might be a bit drastic, but just not good enough. That was Rao's last uh, contribution to the game because he's just been subbed off. Hong and Luis not playing particularly well. As Palace do get a highlight. So, we're going to bring Chong off and Luis off also. We're going to put Buckman in there. Mitchell to Sanchez. Back to Mitchell. Fighting in the corner with Luis. Marquinhos outside of the box to Almada. There we go. All over. Four for the season for Palace. Their team is absolutely. Don't need to see. Let's skip this. So 11 behind. And still 10 points going on the Ipswich. That's the team we're looking to catch. 10 points, 6 games. 11 points ahead of Stoke. So we, sh we should be guaranteed a, uh, a playoff spot at the very least. I mean, I'm, I'm not happy with that performance. We had zero shots on target. Very, very poor. 
So what are the other results that we have going here? So I don't really care about South Ham for many. Uh, Ipswich against Rotherham. That's what we need. We need okay, Rotherham and Rock Bottom. They're not beating uh, Ipswich. Yeah, you know, Salcedo is playing pretty poor at present to uh, warn him for his recent form. Same with Lasme. Lasme, it feels like ages ago that he's, uh, he's last scored for us. Who else in here? Longello needs to look his socks. It'd be hard to criticise Horn. Uh, we're going to start Pepe again. You know what? No, we're going to put we're going to put Bellingham in for Horn. We're going to go into the uh, the playoffs, and at least we'll uh, give Bellingham some game time. Apparently Sunderland beat us in our last match as well, so it's uh get revenge. Let's see if the uh, the cheat code works. First blow to Sunderland over the highlights. <clears throat> At least they hits it long. Longello, got time to bring it down. Into Maldo. Back to Longello. Giving it back to Mele. It's a bit dangerous pass. He's put Mele under pressure there. He's hit it up long. Salcedo loses out to Elise. Lasme loses it as well. Longello comes out. Intercepts it from Clark. Into Pepe. There's Lasme. Salcedo's ahead. He's the onside if he gets the ball. Out to Chong. Chong's headed it wide. Wasn't great. Wasn't a great bit of a... That was a great highlight. Can we get a shout of the man more? We can after this, hopefully. Longello. Back to Maldo. Maldo to James. James across to Niambe. Niambe to Warrell. Fighting pressure on us. I'm not too happy with that. Maldo to Bellingham. Bellingham over the top. Pepe. First time to Lasme. Not sure what's happened there with the goalkeeper. Salcido scores. Right place at the right time. 17th of the season. Gift from the FM gods. Thank you very much. We'll take that. Be interesting to see again. So Warren out to Maldo. Maldo to Bellingham. Lovely ball over the top here. Pepe first time cross. I mean Patterson just kind of arms it into Salcedo. And it deflects off him into the net. We'll take that. Interesting to see how the results have gone there because Palace have dropped down to second, which I'm assuming Ipswich are now in the lead in their match. Uh, Pepe to Lasme, Lasme to Chong. Chong on the overlap here. Well, goes around on the left hand side. What can he do? Run into the box. He's hit it for 2 0. This should be game over against some. In the cheat code work. Yeah. <laughs> Use the revenge card. Lovely there, last mate to Chong. Fair. He's done all the work here. Should not be scoring after picking up the ball on that position there, but he's running to the box. Build it in the top corner. Done well then. Very well indeed. So what have we got? Palace are drawing. I don't think he's got winning. Ballard, he passes it back. Salcedo chase it down. Not too yeah. Gets it from Ballard. Ballard to Neil. Neil to O9. Pepe chases down. Clark gets it on the right. He hits it up to Neil, but Longello's there. Nicely intercepted into Bellingham. Bellingham to Lasme. Lasme to Pepe. 
He's going to run down the left like Chong did. Just puts inside, gives it to Longello. Not quite sure what's happened. I like just yet. Longello to Maldo, Maldo to Bellingham, into James. Loses out. This is where the highlight is going. The nine gets it on the right. Clark. Clark's going to run up against Pepe and Longello. Pepe tries to stand him off, but Clark gets away from him. Into Neil. Bates has it now. He hits it from distance. What a stunning goal that is. I mean, no amount of tactics can stop that from going in. But I don't want to watch that again. And it, was, it was just simple passing by Sunderland here. But when Bates gets it here, first time hit. Melee was nothing you could do there. I mean, fair play. When I said we should have had the, had the lead here. They're going to make it difficult for us. But Pepe is having a good game so far. As is Salcedo. Strong as well. To be fair, there's good performances going throughout the, uh, throughout the squad. What have we got going on here? So, Palace are drawing with Reading, and Ipswich are beating Rotherham. I would hope for a Rotherham equaliser here and a Reading winner, if we can. Get some changes in, everyone's a little bit tired. Bellingham for Horn. Tom can come off. Ibrahimovic. FA will keep you on. I don't really want to change anyone at the back, so we're going to take James off for Rade. Maybe that might be an error. We will bring on Backman. Bring Longello off as well. We'll, uh, we'll make a lot of changes there. Just hope that nothing happens from it. Which doesn't. So we get the win. Do get the win. We bounce back from the Palace beat at least. <laughs> okay. So, still very interesting here. This is 9 points and 10 points with 5 games to go. Only 2 points, however, behind Southampton. Automatic promotion, I should say. Playoffs should be a uh, given now. Yeah, Almendra with the fitness concern, but that's fine. Aldo's playing fine as well. Maybe we'll bring Buckman on. To change up the back a little bit. Everyone else I'm quite quietly happy with. I think I had a good game in the last game compared to him. Yeah, we'll um continue as is. Bring Buckman in. Aldo. Pressure in 23rd. We are away from home, but should. I know what football managers like, but this should be just a simple routine win. There's. I like first four minutes for uh, Preston. James goes in, wins the ball though. Salcedo comes away with it, gives it inside to Pepe. Pepe's going to run. Out wide to Chong, but free into Bale. Bale cuts inside from the middle. Pepe wins it back. It's scrappy half. Well. Crappy highlight so far. No other team wants to keep hold of the ball. As Pepe loses it again to Woodburn. Woodburn into Simmons. Simmons hits it long. Warrell wins the head though. Bellingham's going to pick it up in midfield. Loses it to Whiteman. Buckman wins it again. Very back and forth. Buckman into Pepe. What can Pepe do? He's going to cross it in. No. Rabona did it to Lasme. Oh my god. What an assist by Pepe. I mean, last May we were a lovely trademark header there, but is that a Rabona by, by Pepe? Buckman wins it. Inside to Pepe. Let's slow this down. 
No, it wasn't a Roberto. It looked like it, but he's just a, a snap, snap cross. And brilliant work there by the team. We do go 1-0 up in the first five minutes against Preston. Can we get can we get a 4-0? Can we just get a very comfortable win? Uh, Ipswich are playing former. We're in six. So we kind of want a uh, a form of win there. Just to catch Ipswich. So Buckman at the back now. Intercepts a long ball. Gives it into Bellingham. To James. Dawdling there James. But gives it to Bellingham. Into Lasme. Pepe. Free ball to Salcedo. There's our second. Can we just get some more goals come in? Lovely to see Salcedo. Two in two for him now. I think the... Uh, Having a quiet word has made it all the sweeter. To James, into Bellingham, Bellingham to Lasme, Lasme to Pepe, second assist for Pepe. Salcedo, pretty simple finish in the end. Kind of see with defenders like that why Preston are in the lower relegation zone as well. Palace have beaten Millwall. But I think is it Ipswich is the team that we are looking to catch. A Bournemouth win would be very nice. Along with us winning. Southampton, how are they getting on? They're beating Reading as well. So. Bale crosses it in. Worrell heads it clear. Out to James Bree. There's too much space on the left-hand side here. Gives it to Story. Into Simmons. Whiteman gets chased down now by Bellingham. Bree crosses it in from deep. Woodburn's there. I mean, 2 1. Josh and Oma. Team switched off it, again in the extra time. Not helpful. It's not how we wanted to go into this, the, uh, the dressing room with. But try and gear him up. We need this win. We need a Bournemouth winner as well, but we do need this win. Looking at the team, Bellingham can come off. George Horn, Lasme, he can come off as well. I'm going to bring Figuier in. At Chong or Andrade. And we'll do trust Niambe not to get sent off. So we're going to, we're going to stick with for now. Watch him get sent off now. Rees on the left. Into Woodburn. Too much space there for Woodburn. It's cut inside. Melee. Quite an easy stop in the end. But too easy the way they uh, put through us there. Worrell with the highlights. He's on a booking now. Gives it to James. James to Niambe. Back to Worrell. 20 minutes of the game to go. Worrell to James. James to Hall. All over the top to Salcedo. And we get the third. Arn. Just come off Woodman's head. <laughs> he goes to Woodburn. James is uh, feeling it a little bit now. Have we got anyone that can come on? Ibrahimovic can play in the midfield. Worrell and the Ambe as well. I don't really want to take either off. Although Worrell's on a 6.5. So we're going to bring Maldo in. Hope. Hope that not a lot happens. So Woodman can hit it long. Warren loses out in the air to Perkins, but it is offside. It will be the end of the whole Angelo with the throw. Still 10 minutes, 12 minutes to go. Ibrahimovic in the middle. Back to Maldo. Maldo to Hall. Hall gives it back to Buckman. Into Ibrahimovic. Into Maldo. Into Buckman. To Hall. Nice little interchange here. Nice short snappy passing. Buckman to Ibrahimovic, back to Maldo, into Salcedo, out wide to Andrade, first time to Figuier, Figuier puts the 3-1 up, his first for the club, it's offside. Celebrated too early. Maybe I need to change my, uh, my camera <laughs> from director to TV. Playing around there, the game finished 2-1 to us, which is a big win. 
says here, we've secured a playoff space. Very least. Ipswich won. Ah, that kind of... That's kind of the nail in the coffin, that is. With nine points, yeah, we, we do have to settle for the playoffs here. That's my separate goal bonus for 20 league goals. Pepe's had a good performance there. Melee is happy that a promise has been kept. And Ipswich, they're just... Just just playing well. But not not really, if you look at this. I don't know how they've managed, managed to do this. I got some injured players as well. Who knows? And even with us beating them, like they're quite comfortably up there. Right, four games to go. So, QPR, Cardiff and Peterborough. Five points at stake, but with, with ten points behind. Don't see it happening, but tune in the next episode and hopefully... Guaranteed the playoffs, but we do want automatics. So fingers crossed. The FM Fairy can help us out. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.